Monday, May 20th, 1957, Kansas City, Missouri. The residents of the Kansas City area woke up on another Monday to start the week. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary, but above, a dangerous atmosphere was brewing. A worrying combination of ingredients was coming together over the Great Plains that could produce significant severe weather. A sounding taken from the Kansas City area shows a concerning look, with plentiful instability, wind shear, and moisture to point out some basics. Seeing this, the Weather Bureau issued a severe weather forecast, pointing out the risk for all severe hazards, including tornadoes. However, no amount of preparation could prepare anyone for the event to come. This is the story of the Ruskin Heights tornado. Ruskin Heights is a neighborhood in southeastern Kansas City. It is home to about 23,000 people and is one of the most densely populated areas in the region. It has a high school and a junior high school, and it is an overall pretty active area. 1957 was a pretty active year up to this point, with around 250 confirmed tornadoes up to this point, 10 of them being violent, with those being in F4 near Gans, Oklahoma in January, two more in Oklahoma in early April, two in the Carolinas on the 8th of April, four F4s between the 18th and the 27th, and another in Texas on the 16th of May. Needless to say, people were ready for a break from all of the severe weather. They would receive just the opposite. The first tornado initially touched down at 6 p.m. in the Williamsburg area and quickly began moving northeast. The tornado was mainly over rural areas at this time, but would eventually go on to hit the edge of the town of Homewood. The structures that it did hit were violently damaged or destroyed. The tornado took on the classic multiple vortex structure as onlookers watched a cemetery receive major damage. It's at this time when the tornado may have lifted for a brief period, but it's unsure what actually happened. As the storm was crossing the Kansas-Missouri border at 7.30, it put down another tornado this one far more violent. The first target would be Martin City. Many would take shelter in their homes as the tornado would heavily damage or completely destroy almost every building in town. Two would lose their lives and 35 would be injured before the tornado would leave the town. After the tornado left town, it set its eyes on Ruskin Heights, a neighborhood in Kansas City with a population of over 23,000. A weather warning would be issued for the areas in the direct path, indicating that a confirmed tornado was heading straight for the Kansas City area. Hickman Hills and Ruskin Heights would be hit head-on by the F5 as the tornado decimated all structures that it hit. Homes, businesses, and other structures would be completely destroyed and swept off of their foundations. Both the high school and junior high school in Ruskin Heights were completely destroyed. This image here is one of the most famous from the outbreak, showing a large swath of homes that were demolished. Does this image look familiar to you? This was from the Ruskin Heights area, but it is very reminiscent of the tornado damage from the Valonia, Arkansas tornado from 2014. Trees were completely debarked, cars were mangled and tossed, and other indicators of extreme damage were observed. Finally, after 71 long miles, the tornado finally lifted around the Lakewood Lakes area, but the damage was already done. Ruskin Heights had experienced extreme damage from the tornado, with the total damage summing up to around $2.5 million in 1957, which is around $27.5 million today. Unfortunately, when an event like this occurs, fatalities are almost a guarantee. And that was the case here, as along the tornado's long path, 44 would lose their lives and over 500 would be injured. This tornado was not the only tornado from this outbreak, however. More strong to violent tornadoes touched down across the Great Plains and Midwest, with three more being considered violent. One of the most infamous tornadoes from this outbreak touched down in Carter County, Missouri. This F4 demolished many structures in the town of Fremont and was, quote, near F5 intensity. Seven more would lose their lives from this violent twister. Since 1957, the people of Ruskin Heights have rebuilt. 
Images show a neighborhood like it used to be, lively and full of homes. The high school was also later rebuilt. A memorial was placed in Ruskin Heights to commemorate those who lost their lives on the 20th. If you looked at the neighborhood today, it would be very difficult to tell that a tornado had torn through there many years ago. But to the longtime residents of Ruskin Heights, May 20th, 1957 will never be forgotten. Before I end this video, I would like to thank you all for watching. This took a lot of time and work, so I appreciate you watching until the end. If you at all found this enjoyable or informative, please consider subscribing as it would mean a lot to me. Also, I have linked down in the description a lot of sources that have a lot of good info on the tornado and the outbreak if you would like to learn more. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later on Medio Cube.